Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Toshiba Satellite i655 running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys to follow. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu. And you either want to type in settings into the start menu search, or just left click on the little gear icon on the left side here, where if you hover over it, it says settings. Just want to left click on that. Now on this new settings window, you want to go all the way down until you get to the update and security tile. And just left click on that one time. Now on the left side here, you want to go and left click on recovery. And now directing our attention over to the right underneath reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. Left click on get started. Now we're going to have two options here, keep your files or remove everything. Now please keep in mind, even though it says keep my files, it will remove apps and settings, but it, apparently it will keep personal files. Now I would still highly recommend backing up any important files or documents to an external medium, like a flash drive, DVD, CD, or whatnot. But again, that's what I would suggest. But for the purpose of this video, we're doing a complete factory clean reset. So we're going to select remove everything, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So it's going to ask, do you want to clean the drives too? You have two options here, just remove your files, which is quicker but less secure. You're going to use this if you're going to keep your PC. And honestly, most people are probably going to be using this method. Second method will clean the drive as well. So if you're going to be donating it or giving it to somebody else, so you can select the second option. But like I said, most people are going to be sufficient with the first option here. So that's what I'm going to select. And we're going to have one final prompt here just to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button to begin the process. Please give it some time. It will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once some further narration is required, I will be back.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everyone, I am back. So our Toshiba Satellite L655 laptop running Windows 10 should have been restored at this time. So at this point, feel free to put any programs back on your computer that were removed during the factory reset process, and you should hopefully be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.